So we'll try. Yeah. So I, I was actually worried that it's not going to be. So welcome. So that session is going to be about reactions. So you may ask uh, why we have a re GIF reaction uh, in OpenStack Summit. It's because uh, it's actually a, a funny way like, to present OpenStack and, uh, and uh, how we uh, how, like, what's the reaction of a day-to-day -to -day -to life of a contributor in uh, GIF. So first of all, hello. So you're going to see a lot of GIF. It's going to be a lot, a lot of them. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, here. It's a dog, but uh, it doesn't mean anything in that case. But uh, at first, this is me, same T-shirt, same thing. Uh, so so I'm not going to blah 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 about myself because that's not really the point. Just saying that uh, my day-to-day -day job is not doing GIF every day. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually doing some other works and uh, been involved with OpenStack for like really really long time. And uh, I've been reading a lot of uh, like mailing lists and uh, and things since the like the last five years I think, so I actually quite have a, have a good idea about uh, how OpenStack works. Uh, so so this website is not just uh, myself. I mean it's actually a lot of people contributing, a lot of people uh, doing things. So thanks to everyone first. And uh, I actually use different sources to use that. I actually read like another blog called DevOps Reaction, which uh, I've been using as well as uh, for uh, inspiration. So I'll be honest with you. Oula. OK. <laughs> what? <laughs> so uh, when, I get my, when I get the talk, I, when you get the talk accepted, I was surprised. So, so we actually started like, to uh, propose, I like, uh, started to propose like, different talks. They're all like, super serious talks about APIs, about things. And uh, I get the thing, like, I get the email saying, like, approved. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's a, OK. <laughs> so, but, uh, and uh, after a while, I was like, what am I going to say? I mean, like, really, like, uh, what am I going to say, like, in GIF? It's like, there is a, well, there is a website. I'm not going to put it on the website and a bunch of GIF. I need to make it like, kind of a story as well. So, so working more on it, I get more excited. I mean, there is, there is actually quite a stuff. You can actually talk, and you can actually have a story, say in a, in a, in a funny way, for people who's not uh, aware how OpenStack works and what's the day-to-day -day of life, and actually get uh, to see a bit of it in a funny way as well. So the website, the website is bunch of git, bunch together. It's been created like uh, two years ago with uh, Emilien, Flavio, and uh, other people has been contributing. And uh, we uh, we post uh, there on the website. We're not trying to just be funny. I mean, uh, it's, which is actually pretty hard to try to be funny, <laughs> but uh, we actually try to be helpful. So we uh, we we try like to uh, pinpoint stuff and maybe. Uh, we actually had a, we had a, we had a funny thing. It's like uh, there was a one, uh, one guy who was working on eventlet and a uh, problem with concurrency, and he actually saw one of the gifs that was proposed by Clay, uh, with, uh, with you need to have uh, like a certain uh, type sleep zero, and he was like, what? Like there is a problem with eventlet? Can you ping me with the guy? So he actually used that uh, as an informative thing. And uh, but we literally like it provided like Stefano like a nice uh, lipstick on the on his uh, on his newsletter to make like a funny image. So the story of a new person who wants to start know more about OpenStack. <laughs> so at first he would be like whoa. <laughs> so she she or he would be like a, like they would be like wow there is a lot of information going on and we all know that I mean we all feel the pain for those ones. And at time it would be like, whoa, this is way too much. What I should do? But after a while, things start to make sense. So start reading about the OpenStack manual, <laughs> especially you need a military strategy, like to uh, to understand OpenStack, you know. <laughs> And uh, you uh, read more blogs on the planet OpenStack.org, uh, which is like great technical information. And you start really to ask a clever question on mailing list or ask uh, OpenStack.org. Uh, and bit of pieces are starting to make sense. So you get like everything plugged together. So you have like the architecture, a high level picture, and things like start to make sense. So, so reading the, oops, not my fault. Reading the mailing list can be hard. There is a lot to decipher. So people who's participating in the mailing list knows that. I mean, there is quite a bit of stuff. So you need to go to all those plus one emails that goes through, it's like when there is a core nomination, with like 10 or 15 of them. And you're like, yeah, cool. <laughs> Uh, you'll see there's a bit of uh, heated discussions that goes on with people. I mean, it's all a, a nice and friendly way. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they get, uh, so they get uh, well, it's, it's not too bad. 
And especially, you have the long opinionated email that uh, goes on. <laughs> <laughs> so you get that, and uh, you get that coming. Well, uh, at least some people would get like uh, the, uh, a TLDR at the first, so that's good. So George Clooney would be happy. But mostly, it's a lot of people building great things, passing together, and uh, at the end of the day, we, we build stuff, you know? We do stuff, we're pretty popular, so we do, we do kind of thing. And uh, so now it's like uh, you, uh, you read a bit, you read the mailing list, you get passed through uh, all that stuff, so now you pumped up and you start to experiment with uh, OpenStack. So you start downloading DevStack. DevStack is like the entry point for most people who want to try OpenStack, I mean, in a very, very easy way. So you uh, go and you do uh, like a Git clone and things. So DevStack on paper is like that. So you get like a bunch of pieces plugged together, they get passed through, and uh, it's all nicely, nicely configured, they go at the right place, it's all nice. But sometimes, in reality, I mean, it's more like that. <laughs> And I'm a desktop stack developer, so I can talk about that. <laughs> but I mean, most of the time they get fixed, don't worry about it. <laughs> so, so, they get, uh, so they get this thing. So if there is an error, I mean, uh, if there is an error, you have to, to dig into the log to find the issues. And after like, it shows up to you, like, whoa, it's here, finally. I finally find that issue. So, yeah, so it's great. But when the stack will be successful, you'll be like, whoa, and you get as well success at the end, and you're like, whoa, say, it's done, boom. That's nice. So you have uh, your own little open stack that you can experiment with it. It's, uh, it feels good, you know, like you have your thing, you'll like it, you know, like it's just a good, good open stack, uh, good open stack uh, environment that you can, uh, you can do stuff with it. So OpenStack is not really hard to, to see. It's, like it's, it's a lot of passing that goes on after to achieve like some gold at the end, and, uh, and with a bunch of components. So those components, you have Keystone giving you access to a token like in a very clever way. It's actually how it works in a lock, uh, the, the thing. And open it. You have Nova applying its secret source to schedule a VM on an hypervisor. And uh, you, you get a glance fetching the right image to boot and choose like which image I'm going to have and which image I'm going to pass, uh, to pass through. And uh, that thing is like is usually nicely stored like in, a, in an object storage like Swift, which is, uh, which is get like at the right place. And uh, Cinder is attaching the right block storage into, uh, into the VM. So you get like block storage that gets through. And uh, all that stuff goes to uh, via Neutron. So I get to say, like, it was really hard to find a GIF on, uh, on Neutron. I mean, that's the thing. So you try to imagine, like, a packet loss at the end. <laughs> so, it's more <laughs> so it's more like UDP kind of thing, more than TCP, I'd say. Well, I could have said handshakes and things, but that was more too conceptual. So try to imagine, like, a link, but you lose some stuff uh, in between. <laughs> Still pretty good, I mean. <laughs> Still working. And you get Horizon. Horizon is the pretty face of, the, of OpenStack. It's what you show to everyone and, uh, in your presentation or when uh, you, you ask a, like, a, a, someone like, who wants to use it. And, uh, and that uh, works uh, was good. So when you think about improvements, uh, you can think about things that you, you actually want to fix. So there is, not, so there is an improvement, but there's a lot of stuff that you want to do. So you need to watch that GIF carefully. So the guy is like, he's starting like, to have a, like, one little thing. Mm, I need to fix that. Oh, OK, that's the thing I need to fix now. OK, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go. <laughs> and he goes in loop. <laughs> so we need to watch. <laughs> and he goes forever. So basically, like, <laughs> <laughs> there is always like, things like, to fix. So now it's like, uh, you find a bug, you find something to fix. You take your uh, body armor on, and uh, and you go you go go on a mission like to uh, fix that bug. So you fire your editor and you start coding. <laughs> you probably want to look at your screen, because <laughs> that would be a good idea. <laughs> or you get those over the lines uh, stuff anyway. But uh, you start like a crazy coding session. You feel all pumped up. So, so you start your thing, but you see like your unit tests are not fail are failing. So they go, they go, pass, pass, fail. So you need to, uh, so you keep uh, adjusting the code. So you start to adjust the code. You fire the pizza, the, the Red Bull, and stuff, and you fix your uh, code until it works. Uh, you make sure that it's as well PEP8 or Flake8 compliance, which is our code uh, checking uh, compliance. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's. Uh, <laughs> That's the way, that's the best way to fix those ones. You just throw up the code. <laughs> yes, that's it. 
uh, you try to avoid the most common mistake, like forgetting to sort the import line or, or things like that. And uh, now it like, seems like Tox seems to pass OK. I mean, surprisingly, I mean, by your luck, Tox, Tox got all green. So you're all good. That's a lucky kid, man. <laughs> so you're all part of your patch, and you're ready to submit for review. So uh, that's, uh, that's you think like it's a masterpiece. You get it like uh, really well done and, uh, and, uh, and a thing. And I was like, I'm going to show it to everyone. Let's, uh, before you show it to everyone, you actually need to wait a little bit. You wait patiently <laughs> that Zool pick up your patch to learn the thing. So if it gets busy, you have to, uh, so you, you're not trying to be, so it's normal, you just wait, okay. You can log into uh, zool.openstack.org to see the progress. You get like some progress bar. And since like they introduced those progress bar like a year or two ago, now it's like you can just like stay like that and watch like the green thing until it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> And uh, this is where you have a failed, uh, a, a failed thing again. <laughs> so you're like, whoa, OK, I'm going to start again. So another crazy coding session. You reach, oh, OK, it's coming, it's coming. Whip. And you reach your head and resubmit again. So you just like code, code, code like crazy until you get uh, your thing fixed. But things, but things fail again for some unknown reason due of an infra issue. <laughs> so you need to watch, whoa. <laughs> That's, that's pretty helpful. <laughs> well, it's not like that, like, like that all the time. You could try to keep it uh, recheck no bug to get Jenkins to recheck. So that's what you do like a lot of times. So you, you have on Garrett, you have a way to do that. And uh, you just do recheck no bug, and after you would uh, retry. But it's actually something greater than that. So you keep your crime. You don't try to panic. Not like that guy, <laughs> because he's a bit uh, panicking on, the, on his keyboard. OK, the refresh is a bit. Uh, so, so things like if there's an infra issue, you're sure going to see it on IRC. You see all the devs complaining, "What's happening? Doesn't work? Doesn't work? Is that working or is that not?" And uh, and you'll see it like there is something happening greater than just your code that's failing. So, so what? You, thankfully, we have an awesome infra team that can help you. So that's that's the infra team. <laughs> that's the infra team that are all coming. And uh, there would be like those, uh, those guys are awesome, by the way, because they work like 24 hours and uh, they're always here and they're always helpful. I mean, I, I get to say. So it's a, it's a great thing for them. Uh, so the issues start to get fixed. It's like actually some kind of case pip install that they're going to explain in some way that gets dependencies caching and uh, like magic, it gets all fixed. <laughs> so, okay, cool, nice. So now Jenkins is uh, happy and, uh, and has passed all the tests. So that's actually a very happy Jenkins. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of issue in between, but uh, it's all good and, uh, and nice. So you are going to call the core reviewer. So the core reviewer is on his way <laughs> to, <laughs> to review the code. <laughs> so he is coming. He is coming on the, on the fix. So first of all. <laughs> If you, had, if you didn't add a unit test, you're sure not going to like it. That's for sure. That's, a, that's a, it's going to throw the thing away. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's for sure. Alors, sometimes you get some real unfortunate you're going to nitpick you. So that's the nitpick Nazi uh, team that's going to come over. Watch. Uh, what? That's not standard. No, that, this is not good enough. <laughs> so, ooh, <whoa. laughs> <laughs> so that's, a, that's a pretty helpful thing. The worst for me is the giving minus one for a minor phrasing change, especially that uh, most people are not. Uh, so it's a bit like, whoa. Or well, for some issue that has nothing to do with your patch. And so we get a bit, uh, a bit angry, but not that much. So you read it more until it gets right. Especially like you try to work with people until like, so it's one way or another. <laughs> and it goes forever like that. <laughs> But, uh, and now that you get, you get the plus one starting. So you got like, all the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, you get like 1,000 plus one coming through and uh, coming. So you, uh, you're actually quite good into it. But you need that last plus two to get it approved, you know? <laughs> and that's some core developer waiting. Like, that's the way I imagine on my review is that, uh, is that what are we waiting for? <laughs> so you ping them gently on IRC for review. Please, please. Sure, thanks. <laughs> Sometimes they're going to help you and fix the issue directly on your patch. So they're going to help you and going to eat, do an iteration on your patch directly. I can do that. <laughs> and they go, and they go until they fix. 
cosa. <laughs> Very sorry about the traffic. I saw it after. Until you, fin you finally get that final plus two approved. So your patch is approved. You're all good. You're really, really, uh, you're really happy about it. So, so you first, you, <laughs> you make sure that it takes the reviewer. <laughs> Don't scare them away. Don't try to be too, uh, too much. But you just up, so it gets plus to approve, but you just need to be uh, sure that it's not going to last failed before the last checks. But it gets all right, so finally you have merged your first stack to open stack. Congratulations, well done. So we could talk more about the life of OpenStack. It's just not just like the new contributor. It's a lot of uh, stories. So some of them will be like more uh, private jokes that people who contribute to OpenStack would know. But uh, that's some reaction. So sometimes when you agree about a feature to implement with, to OpenStack with other, you talk to others, you get some uh, weird faces. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we kind of agree between, between each other and uh, we find a common, uh, common, common ground. Or when you miss the deadline just before the end. <laughs> Sorry about that guy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, the, deluge, uh, the, the deluge of uh, CI emails when you send a review of a CI backed project that you get uh, through. Or when you try to convince the real manager to allow the feature to go in. So you're doing like the crazy dance. So uh, some people ask me if I can do that dance, but uh, I'm not going to. <laughs> so that's the, that's the dance you need to do to Cherry if you want like a new, uh, <laughs> new thing. <laughs> that's very nice. <laughs> uh, when you have to start to look over upgrading your open stack between releases, between one release to the other, so you look over your cloud and you're like, whoa, whoa, what did I do here? Why, whoa, whoa, um, maybe not. <laughs> it's not always like that, we all know that. Or when you start SQL alchemy migration, <laughs> which is, uh, so, so for the people who don't know, SQL migration is like, you need to make sure for the upgrade of the database and make sure that uh, you're not failing. So it's a very, very uh, kind of tricky uh, thing to do, like in a proper way. So it's a bit like those guys are uh, doing, uh, doing the upgrade. But uh, there is one thing, like when you enjoy co-authoring a patch with another fellow, you put co-authored by with, uh, inside the OpenStack uh, commit in the review, and you're like, whoa, flying, well done. Uh, when you enjoy just helping another OpenStack user, and uh, it's, uh, he just thank you, uh, thank you, and then you're just like, we're well, welcome. Uh, but whatever feeling you have at the end, it's like uh, contributing to OpenStack is, uh, is usually like an aw uh, awesome experience. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of uh, contributors, reviewer, documentator, translator that uh, does a lot of things together. And, uh, and there is a lot of things that, uh, that's happening between, between the thing. So at the end of the day, we still like, we need to be very proud of what we do every day and uh, bringing, uh, bringing that uh, platform all together. So more contribution appears on the OpenStack newsletter. So it's usually on Fridays. So that's when you receive the newsletter. It's usually before the weekend. And uh, we're waiting for your submission to, on Twitter on the OS reactions uh, whenever you can. <coughs> so, so I'm not going to ask if there is any questions because uh, that, would be, that would be surprising. <laughs> but uh, one thing we can do, if someone have a reaction to share like to everyone here, I mean, is welcome to do it. But uh, other than that, I mean, uh, thanks for uh, attending. <laughs>